the legendary and longtime Democratic Senator Teddy Kennedy uh, has died. Our country's best days are still to come. But in May last year, he suffered a seizure caused by the brain tumor that would eventually claim his life. Ted Kennedy will be sadly missed in America, will be sadly missed around the world, including in Australia. Hundreds of people have been lining up since early this morning to pay their respects to a man they say stood up for the rights of the little people. We think he did great things for our state and our country, and it's up to people like us to say that out loud. Wild weather is still causing havoc across southeastern Australia, while Queensland is expecting more late winter heat. In Melbourne, it was cars landing on trees, lifted by the roots. And I looked out the window and I see the car up in the air. South Australia caught the brunt of a separate cold front last night. Trees destroyed cars and brought down power lines. 10,000 homes were blacked out. In Queensland, they're wishing for a cool change. It was like 33 degrees. It's ridiculous. It's supposed to be winter. Experts say the extreme weather isn't proof of climate change, but certainly supports the theory. Brown arrived today in court dressed in a black pinstripe suit. He was sentenced to five years probation, 180 days of what the judge described as community labour, not community service. Any violation of this protective order is a violation of your probation. If he violates his probation, the judge has made it very clear that she will consider sending him to prison. This wasn't the first time Brown had assaulted Rihanna. In fact, it was the third time. His career is now in tatters, and a lot of people would say that's exactly what he deserved. Just a few hours after appearing in front of the judge, he was literally dancing on tabletops at the Guys and Dolls nightclub in Hollywood. I guess the ladies still like Chris Brown, some of them anyway. Look at these scenes, England, 2009, regain the ashes. Who knows, uh, with, uh, with us losing here, I might even see if I can make it back for one more go. What a disaster. Yeah! What a disaster. Oh, it's just not cricket. The last thing you'd ever say is that Australian cricket's in a, in a bad place because it's far from it. Sunrise returns tomorrow from 6am.